As part of an experiment for the introduction of new watermelon types in St. Lucia, eight different varieties of watermelons, as well as seven different varieties of cantaloupes and honeydew, were planted in June of this year. The watermelon trial forms part of the enhancement of the efficiency of production and distribution supply chains in the fruits and vegetable sector project, better known as the Seven Crops Project, with the overall aim of reducing the food import bill of St. Lucia. This can be achieved through the introduction of new varieties due to the increased yields and pest and disease tolerance. The new watermelon types will also broaden the range available on the St. Lucian market in order to better meet consumer desires. Project coordinator of the Seven Crops Project, Adli Nudovic, explains that the watermelon trial also seeks to curb the shortcomings in the production and marketing chain, such as the shelf life and quality of watermelons. This um, trial is not done in isolation of, of the issues identified, okay? So now we are able to, to have a, a wider base of greater selection to choose from knowing the characteristics of these, of these crops here. Obviously, we could see what works and what doesn't work. And when it's replicated in other farms, we could understand that um, which ones that, 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 that we could go ahead with to address the issues um, identified by the marketplace. Under the Seven Crops project, demonstration plots have been set up around the island. Watermelon trial farmer Bernard Jabatiste encouraged farmers to take advantage of the opportunity being offered to gain experience diversifying into these new varieties. So far, I must say I've learned a lot from, from the trials and from what um, th those persons have explained with the different varieties. I, I, I think it's a good... Um, it's a good thing for some of the other farmers to try some of these crops so that we can supply the market because as we know a lot of our produce is still being imported and we need to try and and cut on, on that supply. Parliamentary representative for Mekud North, Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, expressed his satisfaction with the trial, stating that capturing the interest of the youth is critical to ensuring the sustainability of initiatives like this. I would love to see even younger farmers get involved in this initiative, play their role. Because, I mean, people like Mr. Bogland, they've, they've given their whole life, they've dedicated their entire life towards agriculture. And I think right now we have the, the, we have the responsibility to educate our young people, let them see the value in agriculture, so that agriculture becomes something that is attractive to them. And I think this initiative is one that is, when, if, if we sell it properly, our young people can buy into it and see the, the, the benefits that they can get from it. Acknowledging the continuous successes of the Seven Crops project, the Department of Agriculture maintains its commitment to improving the agriculture sector in St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.